Hello, my friends, and good afternoon to you. Today is 2021, September 28. Today we are going to test our uh, semi-automatic block making machine. Now we finished testing. So just give me some time to try to introduce now the situation for the blocks uh, production business all over the world. And as you know, uh, from the last year, because of the coronavirus, the terrible situation, uh, Floyd in all over the world. So everybody now has the trouble to do the business and all of the all of the factory is closed The industrial park is closed. The business is closed So but some people have to survive themselves and they try to get some uh, reasonable uh, value of the block machine to support their business try to get, get a better life and so now from now more and more people try to exchange their mind to choose a, a smaller block machine. Because you know, small block machine, the investment will be lower and smaller compared with the polymatic block machine. So today I would like to introduce uh, this particular 24-30, the semi-automatic uh, block making machine for you. And now it's uh, the number 727 for its body from our company. This particular block making machine is powered by diesel engine. So instead of electricity, that means uh, in case there's no electricity available in your area, you can, you can choose this particular block machine powered by diesel engine. Like what you see now there is a diesel engine. And also, and also, you know, if you don't like the diesel engine, you can also use uh, you can let us to design the electric motor on onto the hydraulic station to to you know to get power from electricity. That's also okay. I want to show you here. <coughs> I want to show you now. First, uh, first of the tips. I want to show you how to get it. Uh, Get to it to know how how the machine looks. Here are the keys for you to to you know to start to start uh, the block uh, to start uh, the uh, engine. Here is the starter. Here is the starter. Is the magnet starter. And uh, here is the battery. Here is the battery, right? So the battery will be supplied uh, uh, supplied uh, the, the electricity to start uh, to let start uh, start the, the engine. I want to show you how the the cable connected because you know before um, after we delivery we have to remove the lines so here you can see this line will be connected here and the end of another one will be connected is the plug uh, it can decrease a decrease location you see the decrease location We have been touched here, and this one is a plus. The the keyboard will be connected here, connect the the start here, and there will be two line. One is green color, will be connected here. See. And the blue along the blue line, yes, will be connected here with the big cable at the same location. So these two line will be to be the key. You see, to be the key. Okay, it's the line for you to understand how to start. Up. And for the hydraulic pipe, for the hydraulic pipe, and here what you see now, oh sorry, uh, there's another one, this one, there's another line, here is a plus, you see the plus, another red line, only one, one red line, you see it's a uh, holder here, right? The red line will be good to connect by the 
the, the engine, the motor here. This one for charger. I will show you here. Oh, yeah. And you see the red line will be connected by the plus. You see? You see the plus? See the plus, plus location. Plus location. See? There's a mark. There's a mark there. So this red line will be contacted here. So this uh, this is an electric motor will be rolling. At the same time, it will be charged. It will recharge electricity. Recharge electricity inside the battery. Inside the battery. So this electric motor will be produced. Will be we are we are produce electricity into the battery. So let the battery get recycled. And the second tips for you understand, I want to show you how to connect the hydraulic pump, hydraulic pump. And uh, you see that one. <coughs> it's for the entrance of the hydraulic oil. That means this one is hydraulic uh, oil tank. There's a lot of oil, hydraulic oil inside of the tank. And uh, how the hydraulic oil, oil is pumped out, is pumped out, so that will be from this pipe, from this pipe. Entries will be come out to be the, this one is the cooling system. Come out to the cooling system, okay? So from the cooling system, the hydraulic oil will be cooled. Will be cooled. If, if your, if your area is very, the temperature in your, in your city is very high, is very uh, high. So the hydraulic oil will be get very heat. It will be influenced your pro performance of your hydraulic uh, system. So with the cooling system, it will be keep the hydraulic oil to be cool all the times. So from the cooling system here, the pipe will be, you know, to be the top location. I will show you. Yeah. This one. This one. Mm. This one, right? This part. Will be to here. The first one. And all of the all all of the hydraulic pump that here, no need to adjust, no need to remove, no need uh, adjustable, no need uh, to be adjustable. You just uh, keep it. So from the waves, there are waves there. And I want to show you if you like, if you think the hydraulic uh, how to say the hydraulic uh, press compressor is not enough, you can adjust these parts, this screw. To lose this screw and give some speed from the inside to be the outside, so you will get a more higher power of the compression from the hydraulic. This part, okay. So the pipe looks like here, and. Uh, And another, this one is a pipe, will be linked inside a hydraulic tank to be the pump. This hydraulic pump will be bringing the hydraulic oil from here. And here is less meter. Go up, you know, will be go up. This pipe, see. From the pump, will be yeah, will be to be to be here. This one is an inch. This one is that exit exit of the hydraulic oil flowing. Okay, so with this uh, the host, the head office, the head office of the we of the weave, a uh, hydraulic uh, the pipes. There will be device one, two, three. 
one, two, three, one, two, three different waves. And each wave has the two vi uh, hydraulic pipe. One is the entrance, another one is the exit for the different uh, hydraulic cylinder. Like what you see here. This one, top one, for the entrance. This one, the down one is for the exit. So all of this uh, hydraulic uh, pump, no need, no need to be adjustable. Okay. And uh, over there, they will be lift up down to the here. Right. It's here for the for the hydraulic motor. Will be supplied the power for the vibration box. You can see this one from the top, from the top, the second top will be here. This one for the entrance, this one for the entrance, and this one for the exit, exit hydraulic pump will be good there. Be good here. You see? And there's another the hydraulic pump. You remember it's fixed here. It will be connected with the hydraulic pump here. Yes. So that's all. And here for the entrance, if you would like to fill the hydraulic oil, yes, you will remove this. And here for the diesel engine, here's for the diesel engine. This one for the feeder, the, the, the diesel engine. Okay. For the diesel engine, yeah. There is one field. This one the filter. Yeah. This one the filter. Yeah. The filter will be feed the diesel engine. And here is for the tank for the water. The water tank. You will fill for the water before you use it. You have to keep this tank to be to be full of the water. It will be protect your diesel engine. So if the water is lack, is a lot, is lack of the water, the diesel engine will be get uh, destroyed. And uh, here is for the power. That means uh, after you switch on the switch on the diesel engine, this one is uh, is for uh, for you to adjust the power of the diesel engine. Okay. Now it's. Uh, if you do up, if you do up, that means switch off. If you do up, go up, switch off the diesel engine. So if you follow down this one, follow down, follow down, follow down, that means it will be give the power, give more power to be to the diesel engine. Give more power to the diesel engine. If you press down, press down, press down. And you remember to touch here uh, uh, before you switch. Switch on. Switch on the machine. Before you switch on the machine, you have to touch it here. Before you start, uh, you start diesel engine. You start on your diesel engine. Try to remember touch here. Touch this part to be the bottom side. And the belt contact uh, this uh, the pulley and the electric motor. It's because here we you, you know after you the diesel engine is rolling, with the belt will be you know to let the keep this electric motor to be rolling. So the electric motor will be rolling at the same time it will be produce electricity into the battery, charge the battery. Here's the pipe.
and here is for the measure and show you how how much of the hydraulic oil you fit inside. You see, you see, uh, you see, uh, you see, there's 80, uh, 80 degree, 80. You have to feel, you have to feed the hydraulic oil to be the 60, to be 60. That's enough. That's enough for you to feed the hydraulic oil to be 60. And before you use your block machine, try to remember, try to remember, remove this screw, remove this screw, you remove out screw. And from this uh, this mouse, from this mouse, you will feel the gear oil, the gear oil inside the the valve machine box. But after you fixing, after you feed uh, the, the gear oil inside the valve machine box, remember to to fix on to fix on this pipe. This pipe is for you to to push out to push out the air, push out the air from the valve machine box. So the quantity of the oil you have to feed inside the rubbish box is 3.5 kilograms. 3.5 kilograms. Please remember. And this one the rubbish in table. Rubbish in table. Here is the red. Uh, the, the yellow part is the mold. If you like to remove the to change the mode, remove this uh, four screw. And another one, another uh, fourth, fourth one, third one. We Re will remove the top mode. And this one, remove the screw so you can remove the mode box. And also, if you would like to exchange your block mode to produce different height of the blocks, here. Okay. Yeah, here. Try to adjust the height. Yes, yes, yes. Try to adjust these parts. To adjust the height of these parts. This one is the control, the limited, uh, limited control. To control the height of the mode, go down. For example, now the blocks, the first blocks you produce is, uh, is 180 millimeter. But, but for the second blocks, you plan, plan to produce 200 millimeter, okay? So that means you have to lift up this part 20 millimeter up. Try to lift up this part 20 millimeter up, upper, okay? That's all. This machine, I, I think, uh, I think I have already introduced well. For you to understand how to connect, uh, connect uh, your keyboard, the electric keyboard, and the hydraulic pump for each other.